ஹலோ இவர் இந்த சிபா சேனல் இந்த சேனல் ஸோ டுடே ஐம் கோயிங் டு சி டூ மெயின் இம்பார்ட்டன் டாபிக் ஒன் இஸ் எக்ஸப்ஷன் ஹேண்ட்லிங் ஹவு டு ஹேண்டில் எக்ஸப்ஷன் இந்த பைத்தான் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஹவு டு ரீட் ஆர் ரைட் இன் எனி ஃபைல்ஸ் லைக் சிஎஸ்வி ஜெய்ஷன் ஆர் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபைல் ஓகே தட் ஸ்டார்ட் அட் ஓகே ஸோ ஐம் கோயிங் டு கிரேட் அவ் ஒன் நியூ ஃபைல் தட் ஃபைல் இஸ் கால்ட் எக்ஸப்ஷன் ஐஃபன் ஸோ ஐ புட் லைக் சம் சம்திங் லைக் டெஸ்ட் டாட் பிஒய் கூல் தட் ரைட் ஸோ I'm going to show you before what the exception. Suppose, take an example. I'm doing a a equal to 5 divided by 0. And I'm printing the a value. See this, I'm printing the a value. Okay. So I'm going to run this. How to run it? Already we know. We want to type python exception hyphen text dot py. See this? What is the error we are getting here? I didn't get any output. Zero division error. So this is an error. And uh, my tech code got failed. You guys understand? My god. So here only the exception handling. So the which function is making the exception? The first line. So and what is the keyword we want to use? Try method. Try colon. Inside that this could happen. Okay. So right now we want to tell. If any except happen, exception happens, how I am going to handle that, okay? So right now, what kind of exception this is? Just now I show you, zero division error. So this is the my exception type. In that print, I am going to give, what? Can't divisible by, what? Zero, okay? Cool, right so I'm going to run again see this this time there is no exception my code got passed but I got the responses cannot divisible by zero right this is the use of exception and this is the use of how to use the try catch so this whatever the issue comes this will handle suppose it running by eight means it is the right value if unconditionally if any error comes then that time we will get an error okay and we can have multiple options as well this is a zero division suppose in the customer they're giving a sorry b it's a character okay i'm giving another character x this right now both are not a number so what will happen we'll see okay see this type error that means this type, this kind of type I cannot handle. So how to handle this exception? I'm going to this is the multiple exception type. Okay, exception. I want to paste this exception in the print. I want to say, see here, this is unsupported format because it's a string. Okay. Now I'm going to run this again. See this right this now. Last time it got exception, but this time it, it didn't. So this is the use of exception then this is a multi-level exception like we can give multiple exceptions for a single actions okay so next right now i'm going to go next topic that i told very important topic okay so i, I forgot to tell the in exception another condition called finally this is an interview question generally they call what is use what is finally so, so this is uh, like whatever happens if any exception comes or not this line should run means we need to give in finally run okay i'm going to run this see this either exception comes or not the finally we run okay i will show you one by one by one so this time there is no exception but it will give you the run because this finally will execute at any cost okay now we go to the next topic reading a file okay so before that i'm going to create a one text file for testing uh, like uh, text file dot txt so you know what the txt right text file extension okay so in the code so what i'm going to do i'm going to read this anything okay read this i'm going to hi this was in this file so what is in the text file the text file there are a text called hi okay so here i'm going to write with open function where is my file here so what is the file name tell clearly text 
file dot txt see this text file dot txt and what is the action i'm going to do i'm going to do the read action so r i'm going to read and this i'm mentioning as a file so this name is called as a file okay now right now i'm i'm going to read it so this is the value like in the text what is available text equal to what is the file name is called file so file dot read method so this method will use to read the values i'm going to print here print the text okay see here it is created the file so to, uh, tomorrow i'm i'm just saying hi this is prashant i'm saving it and closing the file i'm running the file again see this hi this is prashant so this is how we need to read the data from file now how to write prashant that's the matter right so i'm going to copy the same method same file this time what i'm going to do do i'm going to write w okay and in this line instead of reading what i want to do i want to file dot write your right right i'm going to write like hi this is cool right so and i'm going to i don't want to print anything okay let's see what is happening so i'm going to run this cool right now open the text file which we created see this instead of prashant right now it is ravi right cool right now you can ask me prashant i want uh, the old content want to stay i don't want to delete anything okay i only want to concat the new lines so for that what we going to do the first thing is we want to add the instead of w we want to put a and it want to go to new line so for new line what we put slash n so slash n will create a new line so previously ravi is there now i'm going to add prashant okay cool right now open a text file you'll we'll see see this ravi is also there and prashant also there so this is how we need to do the read and write with adding newly creating or adding concatting okay cool right it's so all simple right python always makes simple okay next one so this uh, this there are so many files there but we uh, we can conclude with the csv alone okay to handle the csv first of all we want to do one thing what that is import the csv okay so that is we needed okay now come to the line as usual the same copy the same line before that what we need we need a one csv file so test csv dot csv okay so i have csv file i don't have any data for in this first thing we will do the write then you will do the read okay for, what's the file name test underscore csv and dot csv and right now i'm going to do the write so for this i want to mention what i want to do mode equal to for, for this we are using mode okay and every time new line is going to be something every time we want a new line and this is as usual file so in this file first of all i am going to write a new thing okay so what is that file name is i am going to create a new line csv this is the content okay content equal to so what i want to do csv dot write okay writer in the file so this is my file so i am reading this file in this file i want to write one by one okay dot so first thing i am going to write write the row so what is the row in the row i want to mention what are the things i want to paste so i am going to simply two only two column name and age we we'll make it very simple age okay in i am going to copy paste multiple times because there are multiple lines first row this one so i am going to give an listen prashant ages 25 ram ages 24 okay take an example so here the syntax okay after that 
right right now we got it right we already write three lines so we don't want to print anything so here i am writing the same i'm going to copy the new line okay here the same csv file here i'm going to read and new line no, i don't want a new line because i'm not writing anything and in this line i'm going to see this what i'm going to do i'm going to read it okay this line reader so i will re simply read it right now i'm going to print so but oh, i have so many rows right so i have content in csv content csv content colon i'm going to here i'm going to print because i want to print each row right content I put scon the variable name as scon in for loop. Yesterday we studied about for loop. The same for loop we are using in from this file. I am going to run this. So there is an error. We will see what is the error. Okay. Install. Most recent exceptions. Illegal new line value. So it is illegal. The space. Okay. I want to give single quote. Because I don't want to give any space. That's a problem. See this? There is no space previously. Not a single code. Code. This is the same double quotation also we can give, but there is no space. That is a problem. Okay. Okay. See this? It has. It is right. When I open a CSV file, means we'll see the value. See this? Name, age, profession, or different. So this is how we need to do the CSV file. Okay. Next, one person has asked me in just now. Ah, uh, can you do it in the JSON file? Like I see you want a JSON. and the real time use json as well so i'm going to put import json okay now same thing i'm going to do the same thing copy paste it again i'm going to write a new file new json file test dot json okay this is the file name i don't have anything so in this first one test dot json and right line for this we don't need a new line or new this is like a same like a text okay i'm going to w so w is for used for writing in this instead of this one simply i'm going to what i was told i need a data right uh, we studied about json yesterday as well so key pair policy okay the key pair policy i have name equal to ram And age is equal. Age is comma twenty five, twenty four. Okay, I have two data. Okay, so this is a right, right. So right this is the data. Right now I am going to JSON dot dump. What I want to dump? I want to dump the simply I want to dump the data where data comma in the file okay now i copy the same thing exactly here see this exactly here this is a uh, read data i don't do anything and here i can simply type because i need a data here so yes this time not new data I'm going to copy the data json dot load whom load the file Okay, in that file, I'm going to print the data. Print the data. Okay, cool, right? I'm going to run this. See this? If I open a uh, that JSON file which we created, right? See here, it's both data. So this is how in real time we want to do. I will copy the same code and paste in the uh, uh, document which we are doing daily. That is in description. You can copy that uh, Google uh, document. Okay, there you will get all the codes, everything. Okay, so if you face any doubts, uh, a little sometimes it will be faster, but uh, ten minutes we can cover everything, right? I'm trying to cover so many things in ten minutes, so it is easy to see you uh, see uh, in ten minutes the videos. Otherwise, <laughs> no, everyone will get bored, right? Seeing a long video. Okay, so if you like the video, please like and share to your friends. Thanks for watching.